Hi, Rob Leonard here in the Hazel's Wine Department, and here we go with Sunday specials for September 18 and 19. John was the first one to pull you down. He took one drink and he started to clown. Passed you the Hazel, Jane and Jack. Penella, we got you and passed you right back. First up, we've got a delightful sparkling wine for you. This is Honey Bubbles Sparkling Moscato. Now this is coming out of Italy. First thing to know, no honey in this wine. It's really about the name. What we're gonna get here are some of those classic lemon, lime, citrusy aromas up front, nice floral element up front. So good sort of sense of tropical flowers in this wine. Interestingly on the palate for me, often the Moscato will get into a sort of a peachy stone fruit kind of place. Truth be told, I was thinking more strawberry bubble gum when it came to the fruit. Not a problem for me, delicious wine. What they are doing here with this wine as well, they are donating a portion of the profits from this wine to help support Honey Bee Health in Europe. So we're doing a good job here, drinking a beautiful wine and helping out our bee friends. Up next, we're heading to the south of Italy to Basilicata for the 2020 Verbo Malvasia. Malvasia, a white grape, known as an aromatic grape. So we're gonna get big floral component here up front. Think tropical flowers, nice sort of citrus blossom component. That's gonna carry through into some light herbal tones. I was thinking dried sage, dried oregano. Little hint of a sort of a cedary note, slightly woody tone here. As it gets onto your palate, you're gonna get this big, fresh blast of lemon, citrus. I was thinking also about star fruit and yuzu. Little bit of orchard fruit, just a hint of sort of pear fruit sneaking through. The texture here for Malvasia is going to be very big, round, rich, lush texture on this wine. But there is some acidity here, so as it carries through to the finish, it's going to firm up, tighten up, and feel like it's drying out on the finish. It's going to give you this great journey texturally, a very complete white wine, terrific deal on an iconic grape from the south of Italy. Last but certainly not least, we've got something a little off the beaten path for you here. This is the 2020 Chiara Pinot Noir from the Pfalz region of Germany. In Germany, often you will see Pinot Noir referred to as Spätburgunder, literally from Burgundy. What we're gonna get here is a really detailed, balanced, very well-made Pinot Noir. Up front, we're gonna get some nice, sort of slightly higher tones, red cherry, berry fruits with a slightly blue edge to it. It's gonna open up into some great, deep, concentrated red cherry, red raspberry fruit. Little hints of earth and spice opening up on this wine. Little bit of oak here, I gave it about a one to two out of five for oak, so you'll pick up a little bit of vanilla to carry through with that. This is a balanced, well-made, long, long finishing Pinot Noir, a great value example of what they can do with Pinot Noir in Germany. John was the first one to pull you down. He took one drink and he started to clown. Passed you the Hazel, Jane and Jack. Penelope got you and passed you right back.